as per the tradition of jamia we shall start the proceedings with the tilawat e quran i therefore request mr mohammad azharul haq malik a research scholar in the department of history and culture jamia millia islamia to recite few verses from the holy book بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله احد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا احد ترجمه कह दीजिए वो अल्लाह एक है अल्लाह बेनियाज है ना उसकी कोई औलाद है ना वो किसी की औलाद और नहीं है उसका हमसर कोई शुक्रिया थैंक यू मिस्टर रजा थैंक यू सो मच नाउ आई थैंकुलर <laughs> which includes a lecture by Dr. Alka Tyagi from Delhi University, a brochure released by Dr. Nazim Hussain Al-Jafri, Registrar Jamia Millia Islamia, followed by online distribution of certificates of the participants of 10 days step count challenge, Keep Calm and Keep Walking. This distribution will be done by our Vice Chancellor, Professor Najma Akhtar Sahiba. Let me use this opportunity to congratulate our Vice Chancellor to lead the university to achieve the new heights of performance and ranking and that too in the centenary year of the university jamia millia islamia is touching the new excellence levels in academics research and sports it is already ranked among top 10 university of the country and having 13 faculty members among top 2% of the world researchers producing world level sport persons like virinder sehwag pratna bhandari Indian tennis team player Devesh Chauhan and Ganga Najeeb Singh Indian hockey captain Nishchay Kumar gold medal in all India inter university boxing championship Jamia is currently north zone champion in hockey men north zone champion basketball men team and presently one of the Jamia alumni is representing Indian hockey national team at present Jamia Millia Islamia is having excellent sports complex for students and staff of this university which is commercially available for outside agencies on higher basis as well these facilities include gymnasium walking track tennis hard court basketball ground football ground indoor games and a very nice hockey ground and well equipped ac yoga hall with men and women separate changing rooms most of these facilities require continuous maintenance and i am pleased to tell that with the help of jamia administration we are able to maintain these facilities excellently even during the severest lockdown period registrar sahab who is a regular visitor of the jamia walking track has always encouraged us for all help required for betterment of these facilities the campus has been provided with cctv surveillance for better safety and security in fighting with nearly a year long lockdown it is a continuous endeavor of our university and administration to maintain the academics and mental fitness of our staff by providing incentives like opening the walking track for our employees and members organizing various yoga related activities at the campus and celebrating the international day of yoga 2020 also organizing a 10 days step count challenge keep calm and keep walking which was very enthusiastically participated remotely by more than 100 staff members and students with these words thank you very much thank you thank you so much sir now it is time to invite dr alka tyagi who will deliver lecture on yoga for mind body balance in the midst of corona crisis dr alka tyagi is associate professor in english at the university of delhi She is currently a fellow at Indian Institute of Advanced Studies, Shimla. Besides being an, an academician, writer, and poet, she is an ardent practitioner and exponent of yoga. 
she is initiated into satyananda yoga tradition famous as bihar school of yoga munger she has taught yoga at meditate and meditation and lectured on it at national and international platforms dr tyagi is dear to us because she is an alumna of jamia millia islamia she successfully completed ma and mphil program from jamia millia islamia i now with the permission of the honorable chairperson invite dr alka tyagi to deliver the lecture please Dr. Alka Tyagi. Unmute. Unmute. Uh, please unmute your mic. <clears throat> Adab and Namaskar. Honorable Professor, uh, the Vice Chancellor, Professor Nazma Akhtar, the Registrar Sahab, Professor Nazim Hussain. Uh, the Director of Games and Sports, Professor Khalid Moin, and uh, the Media Coordinator, uh, Mr. Muhammad Shakir Saham, dear colleagues in academia and other friends who have taken the STEPS challenge. Uh, today, I would like to talk to you about the various uh, dimensions that yoga offers which can be easily used in our routine life and can help us to keep the mind body balance and not only that actually further tap the potential that we human beings are given as a physio psychic system because I am given uh, some half hour time, I will use this time to, uh, out of this 20 minutes I use to talk about uh, the background and the techniques which I want to give you today. And in the last seven or eight minutes, we will do a short practice which we can take back and uh, do it at any time, which will give you the experience, a glimpse into what you can do with yourself wherever you are. And that is why yoga is very, it's a system which doesn't uh, require any extraordinary discipline or space or extra time. By sheer awareness, by sheer turn of awareness, you can do yoga wherever you are. But um, generally up to the turn of the century, yoga had been associated with the ascetics and monks who practiced it in Himalayan caves and so on and so forth. But in last few decades, yoga has entered every household and everybody now at least is familiar of asana and pranayam aspect of yoga if not the higher other aspects but the point is uh, you will have to understand a little bit and i'm sorry if the terms are technical you can get back to me and uh, you can seek explanation so i might be using certain technical terms but will be giving you the translation right away so if you listen carefully, you will be able to access the terminology. So the human body, in order, in order to understand yoga and the whole range of te techniques that it offers, we must understand that a human body has um, four aspects. There is this physical body. Then we have a mental body, like, you know, the body which consists of our thoughts, uh, the like the the brain which um, which gives rise to thoughts it's it's the it's the nature of the very brain to think so we have a mental body and then we have an emotional you know an emotional um, aspect to our being and then further there is a spiritual aspect which all of us have so in yoga uh, the 
the idea is to at least you know have access to the physical mental and emotional aspects and arrange them in a way that our potential can um, unfold in this very lifetime the yogic body uh, is uh, divided into five bodies like the uh, a yogic personality uh, caters to five five bodies and i'll take you uh, to to that uh, shortly so this gross body that you see which is made up of flesh and bones and skin and you know the certain height and weight that you have you see this physical body this body is nourished by the food that we eat then there is a um, subtler you know these are subtler sub, uh, and more refined aspects so the next uh, next uh, body which the yogis call as manomaya and i just mentioned it is the mental body the thought body which i just men mentioned and the third is the it's called the pranic body the pranamaya kosh and i'll be focusing basically on the pranic body you can translate it as the energy body it's the more subtle aspect of your own being and then further more subtle than this pranic body is your what is called psychic body psychic and this is also called transmental or higher mental body or intuitive body these are the various names with which you can understand this what is called vigyanamaya kosh or the psychic body and most of you must have you know at least you know in in the uh, sufi tradition also the fakirs who uh, who can just say uh, give you some kind of you know they do some dua and it manifests so what are uh, what are those faculties which these fakirs and saints have they these are not very special of course these were very special people but even we have access to this and mm -hmm. this body yeah. is called psychic yeah. body we all can tap our psychic body and can have these you know famous siddhis yogic siddhis or these special powers and then further than that is one more and the most refined aspect uh, which is called our anandamaya kosh or the bliss body when we are able to access that most refined aspect of our being then we are always in that state of you know uh, joy which they say you know uh, equanimity then we are not disturbed by the external fluctuations of life but i am uh, today as i said my focus would be on the third body which is a vital energy body we call it pranic body and i would like to uh, tell you more about it at the same time i would like to tell you how to access uh, this particular aspect of your uh, of your being uh, you know what is the meaning of these bodies this means that the how do you tap these aspects of your being you tap these aspects of your being through your prana and prana is not breath by the way to make it clear to you prana is the vital energy that we suck through our breath so in a way breath is only the vehicle for this vital energy which in yogic term is called prana i would request uh, some of you to kindly close your mics because then there is an echo <coughs> uh thank you so i am trying to tell you about this vital energy aspect so this is, falls in the middle it is neither very gross like our physical body nor is it is very very subtle that we cannot you know uh, access it like this bliss body i mentioned that the fakirs and saints can access to because of their utter discipline or because of the grace that they have or they have practiced so much that they can access that but normal common ordinary people like us we can access at least this 
this vital energy body which nourishes not only our gross physical body but also our mental body and also the intuitive body now when i use the word body these are just the layers of our being so you need not think about is that something solid these are very these are energy bodies all of us understand that you know we are part of this cosmos and cosmos works with energy it is the energy which is all around which we also take in through our breath and that energy nourishes then the various systems of our uh, being i'm using the word being which includes the uh, the gross body the mental body the uh, the breath breath body the intuitive body and the um, your transcendental uh, body so again focusing on the the breath the vital energy aspect i would like to further you know take you to certain technical terminology but you will be able to follow it now this in yogic uh, in yogic discourse uh, the energy that flows with the breath or pranic energy or vital energy this also it distributes itself into five kinds of flows so there are five pranas or five energy flows which work through a normal person's body if they are breathing normally a uh, clean air <laughs> unfortunately these days the air is not clean and i'll come back to that that how we can Uh, we should not do pranayam but how we can be aware of the breath itself and still we will be able to draw the prana from the atmosphere so coming back to these five energy flows so the breath that we breathe in in, in <clears throat> is the medium for this for this energy and that energy then goes into our various systems for instance there is this uh, what is called apana the upward flowing uh, uh, upward flowing energy which takes care of your respiratory system and takes care of your uh, the energy that flows into the brain so you can imagine if your this particular prana this particular energy flow is nourished through your breath then you will have a good respiratory system and the toxins from your body will be automatically flushed out with with the respiration process itself similarly then we have another uh, another energy flow which flows downwards like you know from the um, navel downwards and this this is called uh, apana and the apana flow this is energy flow it's a name for an energy flow so the apana is responsible for your reproductive system and for elimination eliminatory processes of the body so if if we are not able to eliminate what we consume then certainly you can imagine how many toxins we are collecting so there are five kinds of energy flows but the point here is how do we nourish each energy flow so that we can we are able to nourish every aspect of our system that is given to us i would like to say that of course this ashtanga yoga offers us eight limbs which kind of you know cater to uh, from uh, yama niyama asana pranayam um pratyahara dharana dhyana and samadhi it's a whole kind of you know a ladder which a yogi um, you know steps up and goes into this transcendental state but we are not concerned with that yogi our concerns are very worldly we are we have to sustain a family we have to deal with this onslaught of you know uh, uh, onslaught of information technology for instance this media thronging all the time and then on the top of it it this this very very critical period of corona which has kind of you know shaken our the very basis of our culture which is you know based on bonhomie and compassion and meeting each other we like to hug each other meet it unfortunately you know this kind of you know throttling of 
our energies has affected us mentally also so now we are facing much challenges not only for our, our like physical body we are threatened by the coronavirus but we are also facing more hidden challenges at mental and emotional levels we can't meet our own people we can't openly you know everybody is afraid in any case all of you know that so i'll not dwell on the dangers of corona but i would like to dwell on how uh, what can we do if we are not doing asanas which are of course important for your gross body and your simple uh, your systems like you know your muscular system your respiratory system your uh, your skeletal system the, the 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 asanas can help your gross body to maintain normal physical health then there is this pranayam even pranayam is very difficult these days with the pollution and i would say as a as a yoga practitioner that even i stop pranayama during these 3 uh, months when there is this kind of pollution it can be counterproductive so kindly do not do the pranayama practices at least intense pranayama practices just do the brahmari pranayam if you want you are a yoga freak or if you want to do then there what can we do i would like to bring to you this practice from the tantras actually and this is simple practice of breath awareness breath awareness because it is the breath it is the breath which is life all of us know breath is the only companion companion from cradle to grave and breath is the most uh, neglected aspect because we breathe so shallow and we are not uh, we do not like we do not give enough awareness to our breath and that's why there are blockages in our body because i as i just told you when the breath takes in the energy from the cosmos cosmos the cosmic energy then this energy supplies to these various energy flows that i mentioned which take care of different systems of your body so the point is yoga doesn't only mean asanas and pranayams and samadhi and meditation of course it means all that but for us even if we are able to do breath awareness you will see that you know the normal you know, normal imbalance can be corrected you know corrected with just breath awareness we will be doing a short practice on breath awareness but let me elaborate a little bit more on this see the breath for any simple 12th class science student it can be made very clear to even to the children that the respiration breath which is responsible for the respiration uh, supplies the energy even to the brain so the energy which goes into the brain the fresh energy that goes into the brain when we are able to breathe properly it is that energy which op- which takes care of the health of our nerves our nervous system nervous system is directly related with our emotions and with our with our mind of course so ha- if we want to take care of our mind we know that the mind it is the nature of the mind to think and thoughts can be a source of pleasure and thoughts can be a source of pain often we do not have no we do not have any control on our thoughts we we often you will hear people say that i'm not able to put this thought away main bahut is baat se pareshan hu aakhir baat hi hai kyun main pareshan hu kyun nahi main usko erase karke main apne thought ko ya mind ko wahan laga saku saku jahan main use lagana chahu so uh, the difference between a yogi or a balanced person and an ordinary person is that the yogi or the balanced person is able to channel the energy to where they want 
to put it and an ordinary person is not able to channel the energy and is bogged down by the thoughts and the problems which all of us have so it is up to us to direct our energy so what happens when we direct our energy to the breath for example what happens first thing it becomes very equanimous and you are able to unmind i'm using the word unmind and not unwind and i do mean that you can unwind because you need that you need it for your system you need it for your balance that you are able sometimes at least for 5 minutes every day you are able to go beyond your mind so that there are no thoughts in your head thronging you and troubling you and because life will go on and thoughts will keep coming and take your energy unnecessarily you should be able to erase the thoughts उन पर एक दफा तो झाड़ू लगनी चाहिए और एक दफा बिना थॉट्स के दिमाग को हमें रखना आना चाहिए तो जितना ज्यादा हाउ एवर मच आर वी एबल टू क्लीन द थॉट्स इफ यू आर एबल टू क्लीन इट यू नो मोर ऑफन ड्यूरिंग द डे लाइक वंस इन द मॉर्निंग यू यू जस्ट ऑब्जर्व योर ब्रेथ एंड यू विल सी दैट थॉट्स हैव स्टॉप्ड यू विल बी एबल टू गो एंजॉय दैट लीप over the mind and then again at 12 o'clock you can sit and in the in the islam the most beautiful thing about islam is the uh, the five time namaz so what what is happening there that you are brought back to yourself the practice of namaz what does it do that you are connecting to your own self you're connecting back to your own energy and you should be able to withdraw from all thoughts however please do not think that we have to put an effort and we have to suppress our thoughts we cannot suppress our thoughts mind is extremely strong so what we have to do is like you know you must have heard this story that you know a king king said that i have drawn this line and somebody should come and without uh, without erasing this line make this line short so a wise person walks in and he draws a longer line and that is how we have to deal with our mind mind will not listen to you so what you have to do is take a leap a gentle you know side line it and how do we side line it we side line it by turning our awareness from the thoughts to the breath just keep observing the flow of the breath what will happen first of all breath will become longer and deeper which again means that energy has started flowing more deeply it is going to all the systems of your body of your being first thing second thing when you are observing the breath slowly you will see you will see that thought thought waves have become less and less when the thought waves have become less you can then bring in some kind of you know light or something to your if you are meditating if you are not meditating if you are in amidst the daily life like you are now listening to me attending to something then just keep observing the breath it will be long and deep and it will keep supplying energy to your systems but i would suggest that meditate a little bit sometimes you know morning evening afternoon any time or even during the time of your namaz after you have finished your practice just stay 5 minutes and keep observing the breath you will enjoy the thoughtlessness and to attain the tho- thoughtlessness state is a big achievement because it, it then refreshes your mind quickly so this state in the yogic and tantric terms is called nirvikalpa state means the state where there are no thought constructs thoughts are certainly constructs we are constructing them so when there are if we can attain this no thought construct state or nirvikalpa state we can really recharge ourselves so i will stop here uh, 
I mean, I'll stop talking because I really believe that an ounce of practice is worth more than, you know, thousands of words. So I would suggest that let's do with the uh, permission of uh, our uh, Honorable uh, Vice Chancellor Sahiba, I would like to um, do a short practice uh, if you if you allow me or if you give me permission. Otherwise, I can stop here. So, up log bataiye kya? Are you? Ma'am ki aawaz mujhe nahi aa rahi hai but I think... Please continue. Mm. Thank you ma'am. So, let's sit wherever we are. Uh, just straighten your spine. Straighten your back and nicely put your neck in line with your shoulders. And you can put your hands on your knees or in your lap and gently close your eyes. With closed eyes, observe the posture and straighten it further. Make sure that the spine is really aligned with your head. Slowly become very stable in your body. The body should become completely still, stable, and very relaxed. Relax the whole body by watching your body with closed eyes from head to toe. With closed eyes, look at your head, relax your head over your shoulders. Look at the shoulders, push them backwards a little. Push your chest outwards a little and keep it relaxed. Relax the abdominal muscles, the buttocks, thighs, knees, legs, feet, arms and hands. The whole body very stable, still like a statue and very relaxed. Only movement that is happening is that of the breath. You are breathing in and breathing out. Become fully aware of your breath. Inhalation and exhalation. Full awareness of breathing process. Awareness only of the breath and of nothing else. If your thoughts go away, please bring them back to your breath. See the breath going through the nostrils into the trachea and then with exhalation going out of your nostrils. Feel the breath at the nostrils. Feel the temperature of the breath at the nostrils, how it is cool when it enters your body and how it is warm when it leaves your body. When you are aware of your breath, it has become very deep and long. Full awareness of the length of the breath, of the temperature of the breath. And now become aware of the sound of the breath. See if you can hear your breath. You can hear your breath if you pay attention. Full awareness of the breath as it goes through the nostrils into the windpipe and down under. Now imagine a golden tube passing through your navel and your throat. Imagine a tube connecting your navel and your throat. And when you inhale, the breath goes up from navel to throat. When you exhale, it goes down from throat to navel. Full awareness of this golden tube connecting your navel and throat. Inhale, the breath goes up 
the energy goes up from navel to throat exhale the energy goes down from throat to navel this golden tube of energy just observe this and the energy going up and down inhalation navel to throat exhalation throat to navel listen to the sound of the breath visualize the breath and feel the breath feel the temperature of the breath a few more moments full awareness of the breath through this golden tube now slowly bring your awareness to the eyebrow center the point between the eyebrows and visualize a brightly burning flame like a candle flame at this point focusing on this point of light we will chant amen the sound of amen which is like a mantra and we will do this like amen in three syllables a we will feel in the tummy me we will feel in the chest and the brain area we will chant together this sound of syllables of amen six times together so please inhale and keep the awareness on the light at the eyebrow center and we will chant together inhale now ami a to this point of light and come back to your breath and slowly get ready to externalize your mind become aware of your surroundings and slowly bring your palms together rub them when they are warm keep them on your eyes you may do this three times and feel your own energy generated by rubbing your palms healing the eyeballs behind your eyes please do this three times and feel the healing effect of this your own energy healing the nerves behind the eyeballs in your brain and gently open your eyes bahut bahut shukriya thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to share with you what i could if you have any questions you can run them to me through shakir sahab thank you very much thanks a lot dr tyagi to enlighten us how yoga can help us in balancing our mind and body during these tough days of pandemic thank you so much <clears throat> jamia milia islamia has been active in promoting various yoga activities we have been celebrating international day yoga, uh, day of yoga every year with full of enthusiasm this year due to covid 19 pandemic we celebrated the yoga day through online mode the office of the games and sports organized a grand online program which was attended by a large number of our students employees and their family members 
the office of the games and sports also published a brochure on this occasion now before i invite dr nazim hussain al jafri sahab registrar jamia islamia for the release of the brochure i would like i would be my it would be my honor to introduce dr jafri sahab to our audience dr jafri earned his phd degree in history from aligarh muslim university and served there initially as lecturer a later switch to administration and served in the capacities of deputy registrar joint registrar and controller of examinations <clears throat> besides above dr jafri has also served as first registrar of indira gandhi national tribal university amrakant madhya pradesh as a registrar at khwaja muinuddin chishti urdu arbi farsi university lucknow He has also served as controller of examinations at Baba Sahib Bhim Rao Ambedkar University, Lucknow. In addition, he has authored five books and has more than twenty research papers to his credit. <coughs> Dr. Jafri, an administrator with valuable academic experience, joined Jamia Millia Islamia as controller of examinations on first January two thousand twenty. and later took the charge of registrar on october 31st this year dr jafri i believe is the first registrar of jamia millia islamia who is appointed from the system of university administration who understands very well all the pros and cons of the system in that sense he is a real university administrator we firmly believe sir that jamia will be benefited with your vast experience Now I request Dr. Jafri Sahab to kindly release the brochure International Day of Yoga 2020 Celebrations at Jamia Millia Islamia. At the same time, I would also like to request Madam Vice Chancellor Dr. Alka Tyagi and Professor Khalid Muin to please join the release of the brochure. Thank you sir thank you ma'am I now request my colleague professor Naveed Hasan to kindly screen the presentation of just released brochure on yoga
आप उसे क्लोज कर दीजिए अच्छा <coughs> Uh, Professor Naveed Hasan has just lost connection of internet, <clears throat> so we could not show the uh, complete presentation. Sorry for that. And thanks for watching patiently. Now I request uh, respected Dr. Nazi Hussain Al Jafri Sahab, Registrar, to say a few words on this occasion. Thank you, Chakir Sahab, <clears throat> Honorable Vice Chancellor. Learned, learned speaker Dr. Alka Tiagi, Professor Khalid Moin, Director Games and Sports, my dear students and colleagues. I, I am happy to hear that uh, Jamia Millia Islamia has been celebrating International Day of Yoga since its inception, that is 2015. Every year, large number of uh, students and staff members used to participate in this program. This year, due to COVID situation, this day is being celebrated through online method. Dr. Tyagi has delivered a very motivating and informative lecture on yoga for mind-body balance in the midst of corona crisis. She has very rightly pointed out that yoga does help us to maintain a balance between body, mind and emotion. The brochure that is, has been released just now by the Honorable Vice Chancellor, myself and our guests of the day is a wonderful idea of the <coughs> uh, uh, game committee that has uh, prepared this book. Uh, I have been a regular visitor to the sports complex since I joined Jamia. This is a very beautiful com complex and I am happy that I used to walk for one hour there, there without any disturbance. I congratulate the director, Professor Khalid Moin and his team for organizing this impressive event and also thank them for inviting me for this wonderful activity. Thank you. Thanks a lot, sir. We are very much grateful to you. Ladies and gentlemen, in order to overcome the physical and emotional distress caused by the COVID-19, and to create an awareness for physical and mental fitness, especially during the pandemic, the Office of the Games and Sports, Jamia Milia Islamia, organized a 10 days step count challenge, keep calm and keep walking. The program was a great success with huge participation by students and the staff of Jamia. Mr. Mohammed Muniz, hockey coach, played an important role in organizing this event. The Office of the Games and Sports, Jamia Milia Islamia, has prepared certificate of participation, which are now ready to distribute. Madam, <clears throat> with the help of Dr. Sayyid Kazim, uh, Sayyid Kazim Nakhvi Sahab, Director CIT, we have developed a portal which will be displayed on the screen shortly. <clears throat> it has appeared on the screen, I believe. May I request the Honorable Vice Chancellor, Professor Najma Akhtar Saiba, to kindly initiate the online distribution of the certificate to the participants by using the link which appears in the middle of the screen. I'm happy to, uh, to initiate the link which is there. Yeah, it has been open now, ma'am. <clears throat> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. The portal is now functional. 
participants can now download their certificate by providing the required information uh, the information required is just registered email id and registered mobile number i hereby display few certificates as a sample dr professor dr mandeep kaur professor navid ehsan the certificate of asna khan some of the students are physically present in the chamber of the director games and sports uh director games and sports for receiving hard copy of the certificate it's over to you sir professor khalid moin sahab uh, thank you shagir sahab uh in fact this was the idea of our vice chancellor uh, to distribute few of the certificate if possible physically so i requested the students who have kindly agreed to and are with us to receive their certificates i will call uh, there are five students present here i will call one by one and deliver the certificate to them first number 1 abhishek rana b a sick minister insha khan b r sick minister Gaganjit Singh, BA fifth semester. Can I see him? Please uh, shift the camera. I cannot see him. Yeah. The student. Congratulations. Thank you, ma'am. The students are sitting over there, ma'am. Okay. And the last is Abu Hamad. Sorry, uh, Kabir Singh. Kabir Singh he is a BFA fifth semester student. Just a minute. Congratulations. Thank you, ma'am. Abu Hamad, MA TTM third semester. Thank you, ma'am. Aapko mubarak ho. Thank you, ma'am. That's all. Thank you. That was thank a good very much, sir. Initiative. Thank you. Thank you very much. thank you very much sir now may i most humbly and most respectfully invite the honorable vice chancellor professor najma akhtar to deliver her presidential address madam please thank you for giving me this opportunity am i audible yes yes, please. yes. yes. very yes. much yes. that's fine so uh Dr. Alka Tiagi, the speaker of today's program, now from Del University of Delhi, but originally from Jamia. So, Alka, welcome back home. Dr. Nazim Hussain Jafri, registrar and controller of Jamia Milia, and looking after the two officers very uh, uh, in a, in a very uh, good way. because both of them have to work together and this is the most uh, important time of my university that is examinations and admissions professor khalid moin director games and sports uh, khale saab uh, covid se aap haar nahi sakte kuch na kuch karte rahenge thank you ma'am and uh, therefore it's you are looking after a very grand structure here the best we can be very proud of our sports games and sports center and uh, therefore you have to keep on thinking of what you can how you can use it to the best possible way dear participants of today's program we'll try our best ma'am mm. and guests students ladies and gentlemen and i must i, I could also see pro, and the dsw mehtab saab mehtab saab aap hain uh, mohammad shakir saab who is doing his job very well uh, ladies and gentlemen 
very good afternoon. Oh, as we know, all of us have been passing through an unusual phase of our life during due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. We had never in, imagined that such a period will be uh, will be facing in our lives at any time. It was beyond our imagination. It was beyond our expectation also. And we experienced a drastic change in our lifestyle due to this contagious disease. People were forced to stay in confined environments. And a new normal, we have started calling it normal, but it's actually a new normal comprising of social distancing, working from home, elongated screen time. You're all the time sitting in front of the TV or in front of the computers, which has resulted in various kinds of physical as well as mental fatigues. During such a tough time, we need to adopt ways and means to keep us fit, both physically and mentally. Alka, Dr. Alka, you must be happy to know that yoga and meditation are the proven arts that Jamia has always been uh, very uh, seriously following. It is a proven art that helps us to keep control over our body as well as our mind. It is a great channel for releasing our stress and anxiety. Practicing, practicing the yoga and meditation on a regular basis. On a regular basis, strengthens your body and enhancing our immunity to fight with the various ailments, including COVID-19. In, in other words, it develops a complete mind-body balance and gives us a feeling of well-being and health, healthiness being in, in good health. I take this opportunity to congratulate Dr. Alka Tyagi for today's lecture on yoga-based mind-body balance in the middle of the COVID-19 disease. It was, I, it is, uh, Alka, it was really wonderful to see that Dr. Alka Tyagi, an academician, in addition to her academic endeavor, has not only excelled in practicing this ancient art of yoga and meditation, but also has been inspiring the people to practice yoga and meditation and live a stressful, stress-free life. Today, Shukriya. Alka, aapka, aaj ka jo presentation tha, that was so relaxing. And uh, I uh, somehow, we should, in the morning when you wake up, you should can go through this exercise of feeling, uh, uh, experiencing your own um, uh, breath and then uh, closing your eyes and doing everything, whatever you told just now, in the morning to start stand up uh, and jump out of your bed and do the other activities very as a very fresh person. I'm so happy that uh, our Office of the Games and Sports is very active in promoting yoga among our staff and students. I still remember that every year, the yoga day, the international yoga day, uh, is uh, is with uh, is is being celebrated with a lot of uh, zeal and gusto. And I congratulate Professor Khalid Moin, the director of games and sports, for organizing various events based upon yoga activities at Jamia. We all, always encourage our students and staff to practice yoga on a regular basis. And we also have a, made the arrangements for yoga training by an experienced yoga guru at our sports complex. And as far as I remember, when all the students who were locked down in their hostels, there was some uh, yoga guru giving them 
direction from one hostel and all the everybody uh, practicing yoga in other hostels at a given time we have also been celebrating the international yoga day on every 21st june since 2015 that's the year since it was introduced by the for the first time by our honorable prime minister shri narendra modi ji in view of the current pandemic this initiative of shri modi ji to encourage people for performing yoga has proved to play a vital role in management of covid-19 disease and to keep us within uh, keep us uh, away from any distress any uh, depression which was a which was an activity which would have moved in if we were not really taking care of our mental health this year due to the ongoing pandemic we had to celebrate the international yoga day through online mode adhering to the common yoga protocol of the ministry of ayush government of india we celebrated the yoga day with full zeal and vigor and a large number of our students teachers administrative staff and their family members participated in this online program in uh, on other days when we used to do it in the stadium uh, in in the sports um, complex it was such a beautiful sight to see so many young uh, students doing yoga and all of us sitting in front and maybe trying to do it a little like sara to nahi kar pate the thodi thodi nakal karte the large number and uh, and all the family members and others and even the neighbors used to walk in at that time this year it was not possible at that level but it was not ignored it was very much celebrated and not only celebrated but a wonderful brochure highlighting various features of international yoga day organized by jamia millia islamia which has just been released by dr nazim hussain jafri sahab what this was produced at that time this brochure has been excellently conceptualized by professor khalid moin director games and sports and i must congratulate you for that moreover it has been very well comp uh, compiled edited and designed by mr mohammad shakir assistant media coordinator many activities are going on in the uh, games and sports complex and the office of games and sports also organized a 10 day step count challenge namely keep calm and keep walking this was also a very successful program as a large number of people participated in this program i congratulate all the participants and today when the certificates were being given to them online which is a very good initiative uh, but i also met some of the participants who had come to um, take their certificate uh, their the hard copy of their certificate so i i think that this is something which will show uh, show the world that jamia in spite of covid 19 is not sitting idle is not uh, defeated by the this pandemic but is constantly going on and on i also congratulate all the staff of the office of games and sports for taking such activities i am sure that these initiatives would attract more of our students towards the unmatched art of yoga and meditation these techniques would ensure that our students don't fall into pits of hopelessness and keep themselves away from the danger of depression or anxiety this is something which many of the weaker people have not been able to uh, be uh, to to escape and therefore it is essential that in spite of all the problems which are coming up all the isolation 
all the mm, disasters which are there, which we keep on hearing, and because of pain, we are keeping us away from the depression in, ja in Jamia. And I'm very proud of the fact. Corona doesn't appear to vanish soon. Hum kitni bhi ummeed kare, ye jaldi nahi jane wala. So let's start living with it. Let's start celebrating it. Iske, iski, hum isse hare nahi hai. It may take much longer time to be controlled over. Therefore, we have not only to prepare ourselves, but also encourage and prepare others to fight with this pandemic and become strong both physically and mentally. I would suggest that all the faculty members, administrative staff, as well as students to make it a habit of practicing yoga so that we form a healthy, energetic, physically and mentally strong community. Since we are now number one university in the country, we will have to take lead in health also, in the area of health and set an example for the nation. You cannot be academically number one and physically uh, not number one. You have to be number one in every aspect. In the end, I once again urge each one of you to practice yoga on a regular basis and do not let any carelessness to happen at all. I uh, wish luck. I wish uh, health to all those who are uh, working in the games and sports area and uh, those who are helping in helping the director in making it possible for him to uh, conduct such uh, grand programs. I thank all of them because it's, uh, it's the director and his team who is actually uh, the winner here. And let us follow our Prime Minister, Shri Narendra Modi ji in saying, who has said that jab talak dawai nahi, tab talak dhilai nahi. And that there should be no carelessness till a medicine for COVID-19 is developed. And after that, once it is no longer there, we must, we will emerge as a much stronger human being than we have been earlier. Thank you very much and thank you, uh, Dr. Alka Tyagi. Thank you for the, uh, thank you, and Dr. Uh, Professor Khalid Moin for uh, making this um, good program uh, possible. And, uh, and this will be an incision for my other students and the faculty members and their uh, family members also. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Thank you so much for the inspiring words. Just so kind of you. Now we come to the end of this program. But before we finish, I would request Professor Khalid Moin, Director of Games and Sports, to propose a vote of thanks. Thank you, Shakir Saab. Uh, it is my privilege duty to offer a vote of thanks on the occasion of this online function organized by the Office of the Games and Sports. I am sincerely grateful to our Vice Chancellor, Professor Najma Akhtar Sahiba, for her continuous support and encouragement in organizing this online multiple tasking event amid the COVID pandemic and sparing her valuable time by intensely participating the lecture on yoga for mind-body balance in the corona crisis and agreeing to preside over this function and distributing the online certificates to the participants of the Keep Calm and Keep Walking Step Count event and continuously encouraging us to hold such kind of events and to hold such kind of online programs. Thank you, ma'am. I am also thankful to the Registrar Sahib, Janab Nazim Hussain Al Jafri Sahib, for agreeing to grace the occasion and being with us with his all day busy schedule of managing multiple offices and willingly accepting to be the guest of honor in this function. I must mention our deep sense of appreciation to Dr. Alga Tyagi 
for accepting to deliver the wonderful talk on most of most needed topic for recent time and being with us this evening thank you dr alkatyagi thank you very much i must appreciate the efforts of cit especially dr shane kazim nakwi and my colleagues professor sirajuddin saab and professor naveed ahsan for providing me the technical and moral support in holding this online program and guiding to organize successfully this task i am also thankful to all my supporting staff especially mohammad munis building and construction department and all those support staff from every corner of the university who have helped us in making this program a successful event in the last i must thank mr mohammad shakir saab assistant media coordinator for wonderfully comparing and organizing and holding this program thank you very much thank you all